So Billy gives me his number, and I didn't call it for a couple of weeks. No way. And then, <laughs> then I mean, the backstory is maybe six months or a year earlier, my mom had died of cancer, and I was I now had the house, and I'm twenty three or something, and I have a house. I'm like, I got to pay property taxes. I got to pay like what the fuck. And I remember just there was a stack of medical bills from from her all these surgeries and hospice, you know, fucking bills are pouring in and I got Billy Duffy's number. I'm like, you know, yeah. his answer machine. I'm like, Hey Billy, it's Mikey. Like, give me a buzz about that gig thing. And he rang me back and they were recording a new record at sound city. And he said, why don't you come down and audition? So I just went down and we actually just auditioned in the, the actual recording, you know, the big, the big studio. And I think Ian sat outside and listened. He was terribly intimidating, which is funny because he later became like my best, you know, ally in the band and friend. But yeah, I don't think he spoke a word. And I was like, uh, you know, Bill, Billy's only suggestion was make sure you you wear black jeans, wear black pants, like, or black. So yeah. I think I had a. I don't think I owned a pair of black jeans. I, I went to no. Ar, I went to Aardvark in Canoga Park. I bought some black Levi's, and I had a you know like a black you know uh, Hanes. And wore that and auditioned and then didn't hear anything for about a week or so. And then I got home from a run. Or I was going to Cal State Northridge actually at the time still. Wow. So I probably got home from school. And on my answering machine, it was like, hey, it's Billy. You got the gig. Like, do you have a passport? And I was just like, holy shit. And I had to go. <laughs> I think I had to go get a new passport. I had one, but I had to get a new one. And it was May of 93. And... <gasps> The tour was, we were, we were going to uh-huh. rehearse in the States for like a week and then I think go to London and rehearse for another week. Um, I mean, those are the heady days of like, they'd put you up in some swank hotel in London to go rehearse for a week. You know that what I mean? so cool. <laughs> Spending probably thousands doing this. Oh, I'm sure. But I realized I had to leave school two weeks early, but I was, I was, I didn't give a shit. I was leaving school two weeks early. 